Now, that's the, the bare minimum, and then adding in some garden zone, right? And then some lime. Okay. So lime's important because that'll help neutralize any acid. It'll bring you closer to a pH of seven. Can you put a, Can you put too much lime in the garden? So this is lightning lime. So you you don't want to you want to do a slow release lime. Okay. You don't want to do anything that's going to be you know a hydrated lime or anything. It's a quick release. Sure. So this just it, it'll work out really well and it'll help neutralize that soil really well. And then just adding some sweet peas and honey mix. Um, soil perfector, perfector is a great thing to add, especially you only have to add it once, and yeah. then that stops that soil from getting really. <coughs> it always keeps it nice, light, and fluffy. So when you go to do it, you just put it down, and you literally just put it, you know, one thing after another, after another, after another. Everything goes well together, and then you do what these guys are doing, and you just turn the garden over by hand, right? And then you go through and you rotate till right after it, and it just comes out nice and smooth. A so, soil perfecter, one bag for this garden, or how many bags are we putting in? No, here? this will take probably 15, 20 bags. You no, put it down heavy, really, but okay. it's there forever. Right. So then right. you're, <coughs> right. actually, once you amend, it's early enough. I mean, we're right in season for cold crops, mm -hmm. so you can get through. You can plant your, mm -hmm. you know, you plant broccoli or Brussels sprouts, some cabbage, right? Spinach. Um, we've got lettuce bowls and spinach bowls right here. Yeah. These are amazing. So these you can just set out, put out in your um, patio or wherever, right. or you can plant them in the garden. And if you get three or four of them, you can harvest them continuously, right? And you'll have just a constant source mm. of lettuce and mm. milk candy. Dinner for weeks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's really cool. I see all these bags. I mean, this is kind of gets you excited, especially on a warm day like this. Uh, question. So if you put down uh, garden tone, do you need to put down any Osmocote or is that, is that? I would put the Osmocote when you go to plant. Okay. So, and also Osmocote's not organic. Okay. So it depends on how organic sure. you want to be versus how much you want to juice the garden up. Right, right. So, but once we get through, so we'll go through, we'll get this, you know, basically just all turned over, we'll get it rototilled. And then that's when we'll start taking a look at putting down the weed barrier, which right. is, this is a lifesaver when it comes to the yes. garden. It'll just, it, it cuts your work down by so much. So we'll put some weed barrier down, get it pinned down, then we'll get the soaker hoses and start getting pretty much everything set up to get planted. Mm -hmm. So that we'll be ready, you know, right for planting day. And then, you know, just go through, lay out the garden. And then when you go to lay out the garden, you want to make sure that you take a look at how you want to rotate the garden. Mm -hmm. So we talk about that every year when you go to plant. You don't want to put the same things in the same place every year. Okay. That's how you get, you know, a lot of the, the fungus and the bacteria build up where it causes diseases in tomatoes and other plants. So you want to make sure that you go through continuously rotate. Okay. So last year we had our tomatoes over here. Mm -hmm. So this year we'll put them over there. And we'll just do like a quarter turn every year. Okay. And then that'll keep everything fresh and going. And then, you know, as you go to take a look at the garden, how you lay everything out, you also want to make sure that you leave enough space. Right, that's so, the Because that's, you know, they start out small, <laughs> but that little cabbage will get, you know, this big. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it just turns into a nice big head of cabbage. So you want to really keep in mind how big those plants get. And, you know, there's plenty of resources. Sure. You can top on one of the stores. You can, you know, write in the box tape. But, right. you know, there's ways to find out how big that is if you're unsure about it. Mm -hmm. And we've got templates set up. But... You really want to make sure that you allow for just a lot of space for those plants to grow. Because if they start growing on top of each other, it just, right. it just turns into a mess. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Kenzie. Always a pleasure. Kenny, back to you.